In this video, we'll be learning about the coordinate plane. So imagine two lines that cross each other like this. So this is what the coordinate plane is, and it helps us locate and plot points using coordinates. So the horizontal line on the bottom is called the x-axis. And the vertical line on the top is called the y-axis. The point where they meet is over here. It's called the origin. And you can write it as 0, 0. So what does that mean? So to, usually when we graph points, we use something called an ordered pair. And then you can write that as x and y. Where the x represents the horizontal position and the y represents the vertical position. So usually on these axes, there are these tick marks, and these just represent where, where on the graph a point is. So usually they can increase by one, two, three, four, five by ones, but they can increase by other numbers as well. So for example, if something is like one and two, it would be over here, because the x coordinate is 1 and the y coordinate is 2. So let's try graphing something like 3 over 2. So first we start at the origin which is 0, 0. And then we move 3 units to the right on the x-axis over here. And then we move 2 units up to this point. And that is the point 3 and 2. Let's try another one, like 4 and 0. So we start at the origin again, and this time we move to the right 4 units, since the x coordinate is 4. But since the y coordinate is 0, we don't need to move it up anymore. So that means 4 and 0 is on the x-axis. So keep in mind that 4 and 0 and all points with the y coordinate of 0, like this, they will always be on the x-axis. So like 5 over 0, 10 over 0, all of them will be on this axis. So now let's try and identify these points. So for this one, on the bottom, we see that it is 5 units to the right of the origin, so that means that the x coordinate will be 5, and again like before, the y coordinate doesn't exist since it's just 0, so the answer to this is 5 and 0. So for the second one, we can see that the x coordinate is 7 and then we move up to the point where the dot is and that would be 6 so that means the answer to this is 7 and 6 so for this last question try to solve this problem so our race starts at the point 2 or 4 over here and then the ending point is 8 and 4. So it's from 2 to 4 to 8 and 4. So we have to find out how long the race is in terms of units. So first we know that both of them are on the same line because they have the same y coordinate of 4. So all we have to do is just do 8 minus 2, which are the x coordinates, and we get 6. So that means that the distance between these two points is equal to 6 units.